Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, dry right now. Some showers overnight while we're sleeping up until about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, the latest, and then they're gone. Sun comes right back out, so don't cancel any plans to be outdoors Saturday. It looks good in terms of sunshine, but it will be noticeably, in fact, much cooler than where we were today, where it was up to 77 degrees. It almost feels like a springtime night. I mean, for October, we still have temperatures that are in the 60s. Skies are a little clear to partly cloudy. We've got temps now in the upper 50s to 63 in Providence, Jamestown at 60, and New Bedford 61. The cooler air that we're expecting is still back in upstate New York and just over the border in southeastern Canada, but you'll notice it when you step out tomorrow morning and certainly throughout the day. So autumn returns after a couple of summer-like days. And overall, the weekend, the three-day holiday weekend looks nice. It's not as warm, but it's mainly sunny. And if you're up very early, say 5, 6 a.m., the ground may be wet. You may have a lingering shower, but it really just, like a light switch, it'll shut off, and the sun will come right back out. It does turn into a very nice day in terms of sunny and dry conditions. In fact, dry is pretty much the weather theme the next several days, even into early next week. We don't see any widespread precipitation. Just a few patchy clouds locally on the satellite photo. We have a cold front that is just starting to pass offshore. Behind it, the air turns cooler, but you really don't sense that until you get into upstate New York and throughout the Great Lakes. So here's another look at it. As the front continues to push offshore, this color of blue right in here, these are the much cooler air, much cooler air across the Great Lakes and the Midwest, and that is headed our way for the weekend. If anything, it's running a little below average this weekend as far as the temperature, but nothing that unusual for almost mid-October. So here's our breaks down. Clouds increasing overnight. Patches of green indicating perhaps a shower or a sprinkle. This is around 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, mainly south and east of Providence, uh, rather south and east of Route 95. It lasts for maybe an hour or two. Look how rapidly it clears. By almost 9 o'clock in the morning, pretty much the entire area is sunny again and quite cool. Sunshine, blue skies, dry air. Temperature at noontime, only 55. So a good 20 degrees cooler than uh, what we had uh, today. And then upper 50s are briefly near 60 around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It is actually cold later tomorrow night. So when you wake up on Sunday morning at daybreak, could even be a touch of frost. Tomorrow morning, any showers left over, and there's not much, little if anything, uh, ending. By mid-morning, sun's coming out, and certainly uh, sunny skies by 11 a.m., 53. Bright sunshine, very cool and dry, upper 50s to around 60 for the afternoon high. So many events going on, uh, Columbus Day weekend, and overall it's looking good Saturday, Sunday, and Columbus Day Monday, Autumn Fest in Woonsocket, the, the Situate Art Festival. Of course, the, uh, the festivities going on on Federal Hill now through Monday. So all around, the weather will stay dry. Bay forecast has a northwest breeze at about 5 to 10 knots with a good deal of sunshine. All right, seven-day outlook. More of the same for uh, Sunday and Columbus Day. Monday, sunshine cool and dry. Your afternoons are in the low 60s. Your nights are chilly, and the dry weather extending into early next week as well. So we go from 77 this afternoon to about 58, 59 tomorrow afternoon. But at least it's dry, and there's so many fun things going on this weekend, and happy to say that the rain stays away. Yeah, the point is don't dress tomorrow like you did today. today. Layer up. Layer up. Sweater weather. That's it. Sunglasses. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, Tony, thanks.